Welcome to Talent Talk. I am your uh, temporary host, Chingaz Javeri, and joining me today is Matt Waterwork. Now, Matt is a fabulous, hold on a second, producer, director, and I didn't, um, these aren't my notes. Hold on. Uh, the brains behind Full Swing, just, who, who wrote these? So I want to, my first question, which is not actually a question, but is a question the audience uh, would ask, is where is Scott? Mm. And also, who is this? <laughs> Two questions. Where is the real brains behind the full swing up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's What's camping right now, believe it or not. He's camping. Yeah. He's camping. Why'd you say it like that? He's on a camping trip. No, but why'd you say it like that? He's a man, uh, so I've been told. <laughs> I was camping last weekend. We, we go camping. No, together. see, now, come on. Now, first of all, they totally camp together. And <laughs> secondly, no, no, you've... You put up a tent together. I know you have. Mm -hmm. uh, just a team building thing. Yeah, for sure. But the first thing, uh, when you said camping, you, you you addressed it like the right word when you said you. You're like, I've been camping. And he's been camping. I don't know what oh, that's about. Yeah, you I said it campy. Right, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. You're, I want to talk about your mom for a second because I know she's a fabulous singer. And yeah. I've met her, which was nice. Right. Uh, just once, but whatever. She still talks about it. She loves you. Yeah. Really? God damn, what a lovely lady. So, uh, professional singer. Mm-hmm. Like a recorded art, right? She's yeah, she's she's. I mean, she she. It was a big goal of hers to to record her first album. It's called Catching Air, and yeah, she she did it. She she completed it, and now she's trying for album number two, which would be Losing Air. What would? How do you catch air? I think she has a name for it. I forget. I forget what the title is at okay. this point. It is. It doesn't windy. exist yet. So. Call it Windy. Right. Winded. Yeah. Winded. Mm -hmm. Because the second album, Little Winded. Uh, that's yours for free. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. That's Little for Winded. Uh, that's for Little Winded. Oh. <laughs> Nice, <laughs> nice. Anyway, so my real question, uh, because I know she's a professional singer, you know, artist, and everything, was uh, was she, is she was she uh, disappointed that you never followed her into the uh, entertainment industry? Ah, uh, of course, yes. Um, you see that? You see <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, you took you it, see you, what you I had subversion. Yeah, that, called. that and that was my last question. <laughs> oh, wait a sec, wait a sec. Do you have your phone on you? I do. Can you call her? Yeah, let's, I'd love to speak. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? She's camping. I was camping with her with the family. I told you this. She may not be in a service area, is, is all I'm saying. But we'll I'll, give it. We'll give it a just try. Just dial it and hand it over to me. All right. <clears throat> she was using my dad's phone, so we can try. We can try his cell phone. So they're out. They they bought themselves a little camper. They're living the life. They're just they're cruising. They're going on. I think there's some. Um, I think there's some music festival that they're at right now. So they're just oh. they're just cruising in Canada a little bit in their. Sweet. And their little camper, it's great. Like they're doing a, 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 a like you don't even know. Is it like a, a month? Uh, like or do you I think know? two weeks. Oh, so, two weeks. So yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, all right. Well, you know what? Basically, yeah. Just I can try one more. Let me try one more, just because oh. this bit might be worth it. You know? <laughs> 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 my mom is uh, is a funny lady for sure. Let's just try her phone. Although, if my dad's phone goes straight to voicemail, they're probably out of a, a certain. I I spent the whole maybe last. Oh. I spent the whole last weekend out of service. Maybe, maybe they're trying, trying to make another. Uh, maybe they're trying to make a little mat. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Good for them, man. <laughs> God bless them. The woods and fornication go just like this. It does. It does, doesn't it? Although it's it's cold. Mm. You got that veneer thin uh, tent. Right. Right. Set up a light. Everyone watches from outside. You're like, what's going on there? I just like don't Austin want my mom Powers, to pick up you know, while we're talking about my parents making, having sex. That seems like a. Dangerous. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever walked? I walked in on my parents one time. Oh, you can leave me a message. You know, at the beep. Hi, Ray. It's Shingage Javeri. I'm sitting here with your least favorite son, Matt. We're doing an interview. This was actually live. Um, congratulations on the uh, the album, and we're looking forward to the next one. Thank you so much. Again, it's Chingay's Javeri. You met me that one time. I was the guy with the eyebrow. With the one eyebrow? What? Yeah. Of um, She'll remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, what were you seriously? Uh, why? Why film and stuff? Why? Uh, what was the thing about? You know. Oh. Um, yeah. Why not? It all comes back. Yeah, yeah, audience. yeah. Let's 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 tell that story. It, um, it really comes down to uh, wanting to be an actor originally, um, and I. So I went to a, a a school in Edmonton called the Victoria School of the Arts. Very prestigious. Yes, it sounds. Oh. It's uh, yeah. When I went there, it was called the Victoria School of Performing and Visual Arts, and okay. now it's just the arts. Nice. Um, 
and I went there uh, because I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to be an actor. And they had they had like a really cool theater program and like a big theater, the Eva O. Howard Theater. How long did you go there for? I went there uh, in grade eight, mm -hmm. so five years. So you know, I graduated there okay. too. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, so, so so I was taking cool programs like uh, like acting, and uh, and then there was directing one on one became uh, an option to take in grade eleven. Um, but simultaneously, I had uh, I had a mentor named Steve Ashworth, who is uh, like just an incredible human being. He's as a as he was a teacher there, and he um, and he's like one of the great teachers of all time. Truly, if you go to like that that rate my uh, rate my teachers uh, website, you know, sure, sure. he's like one of the highest rated on the entire site, like on the entire in the entire world. He really is. A special one of those special teachers that you know change, changes your life so um i'm taking his tv class and and that's where i sort of started to explore behind the camera and and he's just uh he's like an afi grad and he has an english degree and afi is like impossible to get into it's really it's really challenging mm -hmm. um and uh and he's got like a master's now in in screenwriting and so he's um yeah he's just like like we were talking about earlier the the kind of person you want to be the uh right. so so he and it was just like so supportive of me and and many other students um and actually uh was kind enough to drive myself and a few other students from edmonton to sate to visit the sate film and video program um and so that's where that's where we um that's that's when i first got to the sate film and video program which was another great experience and um and you know the rest is history and then now i live here and that's where you, that's when you met ben chewy and your life that is when i met ben chewy yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. he changed my life as well it's true yeah he's amazing he is amazing he's always like he's 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 um sort of militant about his breaks oh. right that's what you hear is like you gotta if you want to rent gear if you want to take gear out from the gear storage area you got to talk to ben and Ben is unavailable on his lunch break and on this break, but then you go on his lunch break and he's like, oh, of course, I'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. He's the best. Um, so Steve, are you still in contact with him? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I actually called him on the way here, oddly uh, enough. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, he's, uh, he's fantastic and um, uh, just like a brilliant creator as well. And, we're talking about trying to shoot a feature film that he wrote at a very super micro low budget. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's how you should keep teachers at a very low budget, just across the board, <laughs> right. because yeah. they want it harder than you know, want it more. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Thanks, Good. ECP. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, so then you just you just left the acting thing. So the world has lost all. That's of right. This. Yeah, man. I mean, can you imagine? Uh, I don't have to imagine, brother. I don't have to imagine, right, yeah. because I have seen you act. We've acted together, I, actually. And what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw to the video, um, and I'll tell you what it is. Is it spinning by our... Yeah, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> um, so the video, it was for Kevin Kirkpatrick. Yes. And I forgot what the title was of the thing. I forget as well, but it was yeah. like, it was a heist. Yeah, it could have yeah. been the heist. Actually, it could have been, yeah. yeah. Although yeah. that that's a common title of things. Yeah. Anyway, um, and so you, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but like uh, there's an explosion and then you're dealing with it and I want to just show that few seconds of, of clip. So let's, let's pretend like we're watching, shall we? That's some hell. That's a, that's a, some hell of a uh, hell of good acting. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you Thank as well. You. you as well. Oh, stop. Um, no, that was super fun. Actually, that was a, actually Scott and I, my my co-producer Scott. We're, you know, we're we're the brains. That's right, the brains. Uh, we we were renting uh, an office for our little film endeavor above the movie poster shop, and it was like, which was perfect, but it ended up being uh, too expensive for us. Wait, Wait I got texts from my mom. Did you? She says, hey, Matthew, who was interviewing you? Sorry, I missed your call. <laughs> she says, I'm here at the Caslow Jazz Fest. Caslow. A shout out to Caslow. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> uh, she's gotten, she's, uh, she's been pushed down to my fourth favorite mom now. Oh. Um, what other, what, what other job do you think you would do if you weren't like a, a failed producer? You know what? I always say I would be uh, in radio. I, radio. If, I, if I wasn't a failed producer, I would be in radio uh, and be a failed radio producer. Um, <laughs> no, on, on air or behind I would have. I would love to be on air, yeah. And so now I kind of get to with a podcast. Like I have a podcast called the Alberta, Alberta Film... Alberta, 
right down the pipe. Check out the Alberta Filmmakers Podcast. Yes, I have a podcast called the Alberta Filmmakers Podcast, and so that so I get to do some of that there. Um, but I also like the the DJ thing that doesn't you know I I want to play music for people, uh, but wow. that's not really a thing. Oh dear! <laughs> now I feel like I went too far with those because now I can't unknow that. Mm, sorry. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> DJ Fresh. <laughs> Maddie on the whatever. Uh, what would my DJ Horrible. Be? Well, we'll circle back to that. Yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, oh, hey, one, the one thing you wish you knew five years ago. Oh, man. Five years ago doesn't feel like it was very long ago. I um, meant five and a half years ago. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's weird. I'm, I don't mean to double answer, but I wish I had, I wish I had started a podcast then. Uh, because I started, I started about, th- Scott and I started it about three years ago. Um, you think so, you'd have just gotten a bigger audience if you started yeah, earlier? Yeah, man. So here's so here's what we know uh, about most things is you know if you want to be successful you should you should try to be the first, you should try to be different, or you should try to be the best, right? So if, so if you if you're entering a saturated market, entering a saturated market with a copy of someone else's show that isn't quite as good is probably not going to do very well. Can you be the last? Because I'm trying to end Gary's interview show. <laughs> you right could you could be the last. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Um, so so. It's so funny because I was listening to podcast. I got into podcasts years and years ago, and not that that was first or early, but Kevin Smith was doing podcasts long, long before they really blew up, and so that that was my sort of access point because I really like Kevin Smith, mm-hmm. and and so sort of simultaneously when I ran out of Kevin Smith podcasts to listen to, I would I would search for other things, and there was a podcast called the Serial Killers Podcast, and I'm a big true crime fan, and so I was like, oh, I'll listen to this, and so I listened to like this guy had 67 hour and a half long, two hour long episodes of like in depth. Um, profiles on serial killers and and so I listened to I listened to them all and this was like in I you know 2008 2009 maybe 2010 and I and I finished them on and there were no more and I was like so I emailed the guy I was like when are you when are you doing more man these are great and he's like oh don't worry I, I will I'll, I'll, I'll do more and then I was like okay cool so I waited like, like about a year and I was like dude still no new episodes and he's like, I had a kid and 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 so I was like man maybe I should start a true crime podcast. And then I was like, nah. And then true crime podcasts became the shit. Like it's everywhere and they're getting book deals and it's huge. And I was like, damn it. I missed out on, on that. Like even, even if my podcast was shitty, Mm -hmm. you could do well uh, because if you're early in that, you know, so now we have to think about what the new platforms are. How how do the people find you on the, uh, on the, on the medias? The plugs. Yes. Uh, to that, to that camera. Um, so uh, you can check out fullswingproductions.com. Uh, that's my production company. You can also find me on Twitter, Matt Waterworth. Um, and Instagram is also Matt Waterworth. Uh, what other social media is there? I mean, I'm on Facebook. What, you just moved. What neighbor, neighborhood are you in? I'm in Boness now. Boness. Okay. So if you just walk around Boness for yeah. a bit. I'm a Boness. Yeah. yeah, you'll find me, of you course. That's, that's how it works there. It's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, man. Uh, check out the Alberta Filmmakers podcast. And uh, I have a thing called the Calgary Film Industry Networking Group, um, which people should join up. I haven't done many of them, but I should do more. And also, the Stinger Awards are coming up. I don't quite know when this is airing, but the uh, it's going to be in November of 2019. I don't know if this is airing. So just Good go point. ahead and plug yeah, it. Fair enough. Uh, the Stinger Awards are sort of a Calgary awards show for Southern Alberta filmmakers that I sort of... Um, tried to make happen and got a lot of support from the CSIF um, to make happen. And uh, and a team effort made it come true last year in November, and it was fantastic. It went really, really well, so we're doing it again. And uh, you should submit a film if, you, if you've got one. Um, yeah, I think that's... Man, there's so much. Oh, you should, you should look for a movie called In Plain View coming out soon. We've got another one called Jones in probably next year. And then uh, Paper Champions is on... Uh, <laughs> It's on. We didn't talk about any of this stuff. <laughs> forgot, forgot about that. You got your own <laughs> podcast. Just I'm I, I I'm uh, I'm an associate producer. I think on on a on a great little series called Paper Champions, which is on. If you're if you're seeing this after August 30th, you can watch it right now on Telesoptic or Amazon Prime. So that's cool. Sweet. Yeah. Well, brother, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, man. Mm. Oh, more.